Alright, so what I'm going to show in this video is how to use an abacus to multiply two two-digit numbers together. So this video will be able to be used by anyone that knows their um, basic um, times tables. So um, be able to multiply um, two numbers together between one and um, nine, or zero and nine actually. So we're going to begin by zeroing out our abacus. And to do this, we're going to make it so that none of the beads touch that center beam. So how we're going to read this abacus is um, when we're counting, the we're going to count beads that touch the center beam. And in this abacus, these top um, beads, they represent five of whatever the place value is there. So if this was my one's place value, this would be five. Then if I look at my second one over, which would be my tens, this would be 50. These bottom values, um, or bottom beads, they represent one then. So this would be the value one, two, three. And if we go over to that tens place value, this would be 10, 20, 30. So again, we're going to zero it. And we're going to choose two numbers to multiply together. So we can do 56 times 48. And what I like to do since I have room on my abacus is I like to put them here in these first few columns. That marker is dead. So that we have them here for a reference. So if we do 56, we'll set that value. So again, this is going to represent five, five tens, and then six ones. So this is five and then six. So that's the value 56. I like to leave a little blank spot just for readability. And then we'll do 48. So to set 48, we'll do one, two, three, four, four tens, and then five, six, seven, and eight. So again, 56 and 48. We're gonna leave another blank spot just to help make it clear for us and so we don't get confused. So then to start off this process, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the tens digit of each of our original numbers and we're going to multiply that together. So we're going to have five times four, which is going to equal 20. Now note that we have two values in the tens digit or in the tens place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our blank one um, and we're going to start one over from that and we're going to do 20. So 10, 20, or that's 2, and then 0 right there. Next, what we want to do is we want to multiply this 5 times this 8. So we're going to do 5 times 8, which is going to equal 40. So again, we want to note that now we have one value that is in the tens place. So if we, if we use this um, value above as a reference, so we had two here, but now we have one. So since we only have one value, we want to start one to the right. So there's a difference of one between those. So we're just gonna scoot over and start one to the right. So um, then we would do 40 here. So one, two, three, four, and zero. Once again, we're gonna um, go back to our original numbers. This time we're going to use the six times the four, which equals 24. And we have one value in tens. That would be that um, four right there. That's our value in the 10 spot. So what we want to do with this is we have our 24. Again, this is one different than our original starting spot. We always wanna start with those first two digits on the number. So what we need to do is we need to start one to the right again of our starting spot. So this is where we started. We're gonna go one to the right and we're going to add 24. So we're gonna add 10, this is five. So I'm just gonna carry it over and put here. And then, so we added 10, now we're gonna add the 20. And then the four, so one, two, three, and four. Then for the final step in this multiplication, we're going to do this six times this eight. And that equals 48. 
so this time we have zero um, values in the tens. So um, what this means is this is the difference between this and this. Um, our original, we had two in that ten spot again, and now we have zero. So we're going to start two spots to the right of our original starting spot. So I'll just label this um, S right there for our starting spot. So we're going to go two to the right, so one, two, and we're going to add 48. So here we add 10. Again, we're going to carry or add one, and then 11, or two, three, and four, and then add the A over here. Five, six, seven, and eight. So then we are almost done with this multiplication. Now we just need to read our abacus. So we start here and we have two and then five and six, five, six, seven, eight. And again, it repeats on that last one. So then this final number right here is our answer, which would be what 56 times 48 equals. So then I wanted to include a second problem as well in here because it has something that you might have to watch out for when doing these problems. So for this problem, I want to multiply 72 times um, 37. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero my abacus and I'm going to set these values. So 72 is going to be 5, 6, 7, and 2, 1, 2. I'm going to leave a blank spot once again, and then we're going to do 37, so 1, 2, 3, and then 5, 6, and 7. Again, we're going to leave a blank spot, and this little one's going to be our starting spot. So we're going to take the first digit of each of those numbers again, which is going to be 7 times 3, which equals 21. Again, noting that we have two digits in the 10 spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our starting spot and we're going to do 21. So 1, 2, and 1. Then we're going to proceed to use the 7 times the second digit of our second number, which also happens to be 7. So we have 7 times 7, which equals 49. And we have one digit. Um, that is in our 10 spot. So again, since the difference between this and this is one, that means that we have um, a power of 10 difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to move one to the right of our starting spot and put 49. So we're gonna have um, one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna leave that, I'll carry it here in a minute. And then nine, so um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to carry these five down and mark it with that instead. Then we're going to proceed to the next step. And we're going to take the second digit of our first number times the first digit of our second number. So we have two times three, which equals six. But here's something I want you to watch out for in this video. Um, is that this needs to be written as zero six. In order to have everything go into the right spot, each value that you get out of these multiplications needs to be written in a two-digit format. So six is equivalent to um, zero six. Again, we have one um, digit in that tens spot. So we're gonna go to our starting spot once again, and we're gonna go one to the right because there's a difference of one and this would be zero. So I'm not actually going to do anything here. And then I'm gonna add six to the next spot over. So we're gonna go, that's one. I'm gonna carry this down. I'm gonna carry this. Two, three, four, five, and six. But now I have a lot of carrying to do. So I'm gonna start here at the top. I'm gonna to carry these and put it there. And then I'm gonna slide those back down and carry up here as well. Then we're on to our last multiplication, which is the 2 times the 7, which equals 14. Again, we're going to have zero um, digits in our 10 spot for that multiplication. So again, the difference is 2, so we're going to go 2 to the right of our starting spot, so 1, 2. 
and we're going to add one here and then four to the right of it. So one, two, three, and four. Now what's left to do is once again, read our number. So at our starting spot, we have one, two. To the right of that, we have five, six, five, six, and one, two, three, four. So what that tells us is that 72 times 37 equals 2,664. So again, that is how you will multiply using um, an abacus for two two-digit numbers. I can't emphasize enough that you have to watch out for scenarios in which you need to put a zero in front of that number. You'll know because all of these um, one-digit multiplications, so one digit times one digit, should yield a two-digit solution for this method to work. So I hope this helps and good luck multiplying.